Yesterday, one of my viewers asked me if I can make a video about the Canadian wildfires. Now, on my channel recently, I've been making a lot of reactions to Canadian comedy. It's been very light-hearted, extremely enjoyable, but I feel like I really have a responsibility to touch on this subject as well and really learn as much as I can, not just from what... I'm going to look at a few videos today, but also in the comments as well. So, tell me your experiences, what's going on there, how is it affecting you, how is it affecting your family? I really hope everybody's safe and... Yeah, my heart goes out to everybody in Canada. One of the reasons I want to look at this, well, there's a couple of reasons. One is on what I perceive to be like a lack of reporting. I don't feel like this was reported on enough until really a couple of days ago when it actually started affecting the USA. You've seen in New York those images of the red, orange sky. I feel after that, then the real mainstream media worldwide really focused on it. it was, before that, I feel like it really wasn't focused on enough how devastating this has been to Canada, Canada's nature and wild, wildlife. The other reason is just the sheer scale of the destruction being caused by these fires across Canada. When I've seen satellite images of the affected areas, this is unbelievably covering the full country of Canada, the second largest country in the world by landmass. And these fires are everywhere. It's, it's really scary. It's unbelievable. Over the last couple of years, we've seen wildfires in the west coast of the USA, devastating ones in Turkey. We've seen them continuously across Australia, but I've never seen anything on the scale that, I've see, that I'm seeing in Canada. Uh, I want to watch a couple of videos today. I think I've got five different videos. Uh, just explaining what's going on and showing some of the images. Uh, tell me again, as I said, what are, what are your thoughts on what's going on? Uh, how's it affecting you? Let's see this one first of all. It's called What's Behind the Wildfires in Canada? Let's talk about the air quality. It is finally improving just a little bit after some of the worst air quality reports recorded this week. The smoky skies that we have seen even here in the Midlands, believe it or not, all comes from some wildfires raging in Canada. News 19 meteorologist Aaron Walker takes a deep dive into the factors behind these devastating fires. We know that a lot of people if they have to remember the breast Canada, much like the United States, has been dealing with unprecedented heat waves and drought conditions. Unprecedented heat waves and drought conditions? I feel like even before these wildfires, I hadn't even heard of that. Has that been a problem in Canada this summer? Or, yeah, it's not even the summer really yet, but has there been heat waves and droughts? A clear result of climate change and our planet's climate warming change. trend. Warm and dry conditions serve as the perfect fuel for wildfires to ignite and spread rapidly. I mean, look at that image. That is the apocalypse. That is really, I've never seen anything like that. But she mentioned climate change. Is that the cause of this? Is that what people think is one of the main reasons for this? I, I'm really not too sure at all. Uh, has there been anything like this in Canada before? Wildfires have been sparked by lightning strikes. In others, the exact cause remains unknown. Every region of Canada is experiencing drought conditions. While Alberta province is experiencing extreme drought, it is particularly hit hard by the flames. Of the 423 current fires in Canada, 228 are considered out of control. According to the Toronto Star... I mean, like, we can just look at that image of the coverage of the fires. That really shows how widespread that is. And you've really got to take into account how large Canada is. I mean, usually when we've seen these wildfires in other countries, they've been localised in certain areas. And uh, yeah, this is just unbelievable. According to the Toronto Star, already this year, there have been 2,214 wildfires that have already burned more than 3.3 million acres of Canadian wildland, which is more than 5 million football fields worth and larger than the size of the state of Maryland. It is important to keep in mind that the peak of Canada's fire season, which typically lasts until September, has yet to arrive. Hopefully mm. Canada and the U.S. will not face several months of smoky conditions ahead. For WLTX, I am meteorologist Aaron Walker. Yeah, so a couple of things to pick up on there is yeah, she obviously said it was, It could potentially be climate change that's causing this. Is that something that is that something that's a lot of people agree with, or would there be any other reasons? The thing that she mentioned there about it not actually even being the peak season for 
the wildfires. Are people really expecting this to get worse? Like I, when you see the maps, you see the devastation, you see the coverage. I feel like think how how can it actually get worse? Again, my thoughts go out to everybody in Canada. Uh, yeah, this must be such a worrying time for everybody. Uh, next, this one's called Canadian wildfires continue to burn visible from space. What well, we do know that smoke, unfortunately, it is still rising this morning as wildfires in Canada continue to burn at a record start to the fire season. This is a look above British Columbia, where about 9,600 he hect acres are being scorched right now. Stronger winds are in the forecast in the BC Wildlife Service warning that fire, fighting the fires, I should say, it will be trickier. Let's head up higher to see just how big this is. Take a look at this video. This is from the International Space Station, showing all that smoke spilling south and across the United States, a perspective we don't typically see. Yeah. All that smoke made up of tiny particles, and that forced Washington, D.C. to take outdoor dining off the menu, also to bring the school recess inside. Health experts say that these particles can get deep into your lungs and make conditions like asthma a whole lot. Yeah, so... Of course, what we think about when it usually when you think about wildfires is the devastation to nature. You see, it's it's there clear to see the trees being burnt down, all the the animals and wildlife that's within that as well. That's going to be, uh, yeah, you don't even want to think what's happening to that. But the other problem that comes is obviously that smoke, the pollution the long-term effects that that could potentially have on the populace that are close to these areas, the long-term damage that that could cause. Are people, are you worried about that? Is that something a lot of people have been worried about? I mean, this has been going on for a couple of weeks. So obviously in Canada, people have had time to come to terms with this and think about the long-term effects that this might have. So really interested to know what people have, are thinking about this. Also, what has the government's response been to this? Obviously, this is a like a terrible situation. Was it was it expected? Had like had people planned that this was going to happen? Is it worse than people expected? What sort of poly or what sort of solutions have the government put in place to combat this and try and fix this on both both parts on the on the actual fires themselves, but on the the devastate the the problems this could cause to people through the the air pollution and so on. Uh, let's see this one. This is called Canada could see historic wildfire wildfire devastation. Uh, federal officials warn. Officials say this season has already brought some of the most dramatic wildfires Canadians have ever seen. Now a new warning. Oh. This summer could get even worse. Every province and territory will need to be on high alert. As smoke from Quebec hung over Parliament Hill, Justin Trudeau and his ministers delivered what they called a sobering national update. There have been 2,214 wildfires nationally so far this year, and approximately 3.3 million hectares have been burned. 3.3 million hectares is an area larger than Vancouver Island and 13 times higher than the 10-year average at this time of year. This is a scary time for a lot of people not just in Alberta, but right across the country. New federal data show more than 400 active fires across the country and project warm and dry conditions in June, putting land from BC all the way to Western Quebec at risk until the end of August. It is expected Jeez. that we have enough resources to cover the summer. If things get worse, uh, we have, uh, we're developing contingency plans. Those plans could include more international support, 950 international firefighters are already here. That need to be taken down. And Canadian Armed Forces are also deployed to three provinces. The official opposition said it will throw its support behind whatever the government does to help. We would be open to studying any uh, solutions that will help the country better coordinate its water bombers and other assets. The government's urging Canadians to take extreme care this summer in forested areas to avoid starting fires in the first place and help keep these stark projections from becoming a reality. Wow, well, I mean, yeah, it's times like this when that you can see when other countries step, step up and help each other. In some of the videos I watched before, I've seen moments in history where Canada stepped up to help other countries. So to see, like, I think that was South African 
uh, fi firefighters there. I'm sure I read that Australia and New Zealand are sending firefighters over to Canada as well. It's moment, like, moments like this we can really see the best of humanity and helping each other. I don't know if I can do anything with this channel. If you know any links, any resources that can be used to help people, please put them in the comments. I'll put them in the description. I'll try and look for some like places to donate and to help and stuff like that. I'll put them in the description after I make the uh, after I edit this video. Uh, let's see this. This is the last one I watched. It's called Wild Fires Continue to Burn in Quebec, Ontario, and British Columbia. And it just sums up. And burn bans have been ordered as wildfires continue to spread across Quebec and parts of Ontario. The entire town of Shabugamu in central Quebec was told to leave last night as nearby wildfires threatened people's homes. Officials have declared a state of emergency. A nearby Cree community is also being evacuated. Quebec's premier and public safety minister are expected to give an update later today. Well, meanwhile, the largest wildfire in Nova Scotia's history isn't expected to spread any further. Officials say the fire is now being held. Some members of the Hammonds Plans community are returning to find there's nothing left. Homes and cars have been completely gutted, while others have returned to find things untouched. Officials say wind and the landscape led to an unpredictable fire path. Mm. Out west in B.C., officials are making preparations for what's expected to be a dangerous summer when it comes to wildfires. Firefighters are already tackling one of the largest wildfires in the province's history in the Peace Region, and fires on Vancouver Island continue to grow. Emergency management authorities are gathering supplies and making lists of community centers, gyms, and campsites where potential evacuees could find safety. The Alert Ready Emergency Text System is also now approved for wildfire notifications in the province. There are the, I mean, even Nova Scotia isn't safe, so it's really from the east to the west that this is uh, affecting. So tell me how it's affecting you. I really, my heart goes out to everybody in Canada, anybody watching this video. Hope you stay safe and yeah, like my heart really does break for you. Any anything you can do, any any links, anything like that, please put them in the comments and yeah, try and get help to anybody that can. Thanks for watching.